Okay, guys. What a day. <laughs> oh my gosh. A week ago today, um, Adri had the stomach bug. 7.30 this morning, Allie woke up with it. And in a matter from 7.30 this morning until 11.30, um, she got sick 16 times. So they didn't go with their dad. Um, so he came to watch them because I had to go to Sam's. I had to go to Meyer and get her prescription. Oh, yay. I had to get her prescription and just a couple groceries. I had to get some fresh popsicles. So I took all that stuff back and now I'm having Burger King. I actually was wanting five guys. I even posted on YouTube like I've been craving five guys all day because I've had their burger with no bun before. And it's amazing. I got their 801. And the, the open sign's on, the door was unlocked, so I go and I'm like, are you open? And she's like, well, actually, we just closed one minute ago. There were three people in there waiting for their food, and they were literally cooking burgers and fries for those three people that were in there, and they wouldn't take my order. So I sat there in the parking lot. Like, I almost cried. I'm like, it's just been a really crappy day. And now I think Jax is starting to get sick, so I cleared it with the doctor of what to give him if he starts to see if he can have the Zofran, like if Allie that finally got her to stop getting sick. So, so I sat there while I was sitting there waiting, deciding what to get. Um, like five other people put up and walked in. They, they saw the door open at like 8.10. What time is it now? 8.25. So I decided to get Burger King. I'm like, I'll just get a Whopper with cheese. Oh, so there's like no toppings. I ordered a Whopper with cheese. What? Yeah, I ordered a Whopper with cheese with no bun. So it's the Whopper patty with cheese. It has pickles, two slices of tomato, some onion, and some lettuce. But there's no there's no mayonnaise or anything on it. I didn't order it plain. But they put it in this little container. And I, I got a small order of the jalapeno bites. I don't care. There's only little four little things in here. Yummy. They made me fork and a knife. How sweet. Then I was pull, as I was pulling away, I saw they had a small garden salad. So I got to the window. I guess I was that person that added my order at the window. small garden salad. It just has lettuce, tomato, cheese. Oh my gosh, my things look about the same. So this right here is keto. So there's no mayonnaise, there's no ketchup. But without the mayonnaise and ketchup that took carbs off or sugar. Dang it, I at least wanted the mayonnaise and so see Last Wednesday, Adri was sick. They didn't go with their dad. This Wednesday, it's Alley Bug, so they didn't go with their dad. So I'm trying to rush around, get the groceries in the house, get everybody set up with their food. Nobody helped me bring in groceries or help me get the kids set up. And I got to five guys one minute too late. I put pretty much that whole packet of ranch in here. Not all of it, but I mean, I could probably squeeze a little bit more out. Oh my God, what a day. Man, I was really, I was really wanting five guys. They have the best burgers. Like it's hard to get a burger. Um, right we're off. The sun's setting over there. This is good. Lettuce, cheese, tomato, ranch. That's it.
I wonder if somebody in there is like familiar with keto. So I just made my Whopper like straight keto. I'm trying to film. I don't care. Last night, once I finally got Allie, the last two days she's been getting out of her bed like multiple times. Well, last night she's like, right, I need a bucket. I'm going to get sick. I'm like, oh, you are not. And she was like laughing. So I thought she was joking. Well, look what happened at 7.30 this morning. Oh, my Lord. So I slept her still on the couch with me until she fell asleep and I put her in bed and um, I'm gonna put her in her bed around 11. I put on a Nikocado avocado video. Hmm. He was eating five guys. Anyway, next thing I know, I'm waking up on the couch, like sitting up. My head is like completely over to this side, like resting on my shoulder. It was 1.30 in the morning, so I went in and went to bed. I bet that's why I wanted five guys today. I bet that's it. <laughs> so funny. I'd asked yesterday what to get today. And somebody had mentioned, um, I think it was Amanda said I should get a Pizza Hut. I'm like, oh, I haven't had Pizza Hut in forever. And this whole day went to crap. And then it's like Monday morning, I went in at 150.2. Tuesday morning, I went in at 147.6. Then this morning, after just two days of eating low carb, I went at 145.6. So like in just two days, of eating keto, I lost almost five pounds, so 4.8 pounds or something. Since I kind of don't want to cheat now, I'm only three days in. Do I even need to cheat already? I mean, it's only because this is my supposed to be my free evening. because I actually felt like I made a bad meal already. I'm just gonna treat myself to a really good meal. But here we are. At Burger King. Keep it low carb. So I think I have 10 net carbs left for the day. I have 20. So I don't think these jalapeno bites are gonna affect me.
even know what I ate last today. I had some slices of hard salami with cream cheese and pickles on it. Last night, hmm. last night I tried the. All right, I can't do it. Last night I tried the Quest um, peanut butter chocolate chip protein cookie thing. pretty good so when I was at the store I bought regular peanut butter and then regular chocolate chip I think the peanut butter chocolate chip one that I had last night we still go like a light layer of peanut butter smooth on top Here's my mop over cheese Plain with no bun. I didn't know if they were gonna like wrap it in paper or how they were gonna serve it to me. I just a whopper with cheese just is not the same without. I can do without the bun, but without the mayonnaise, it's just unheard of. I feel like I've had this before with no bun. I love their burgers. Five Guys is my favorite fast food burger. These have such good flavor. But, um, second runner up is Burger King. Okay. McDonald's, I like the Big Mac. The Quarter Pounder, I've showed you before, like they're never done. I used to love them, but ever since they changed to the new fresh ones or whatever, whatever it is, they're like always so freaking red in the middle. Like I posted a video and so many of you were like, oh my God, I would have taken that back in. Cause it was like pink, really pink. Um, I like the regular cheeseburgers, but They're not like a burger burger, you know what I mean? This one's not either. Like, especially when you have your heart set on, I'm trying to cut it up. When you have your heart set on five guys and you settle for a Whopper with cheese and they don't give you the ketchup or the mayonnaise. So my plan was, because <laughs> the Jackson was just, he didn't know what was going on this morning with Allie being sick and he was just wild and wanting to play and not staying away and he's banging his toys and he's squealing. It's like, okay, I had nobody to take Adri to school for me. My stepdad usually is my runner, but he's been out of town like on a, I don't know, 7,000 mile road trip on his motorcycle. He just got back today. So I didn't have anybody to take Adri to school. I was not gonna take Allie in the car. And that's before I even knew how bad she was. So Adrian's like, Mom, it's okay. She's like, I can, I'll message my teacher because they had butterflies. Both girls in their classes, they had butterflies. So they had caterpillars. And did all that stuff. Well, Allie's school was off school for a week for like uh, preschool conferences or whatever. Well, right before then, their caterpillars turned to butterflies and they couldn't let them sit in the thing for the week while the kids were off. So they let them go. So Allie's class missed out on that. Then Adri, her class, they did the butterfly thing too. And yesterday was too cold to let them go. So they're going to let them, they're going to release their butterflies today. Last week when she was sick, since she raised so many donations, like so much money donations for the American Heart Association, she was one of them that got to go up on stage and slime their like gym teacher. 
She missed out on that because she was sick. So today she's like, Mom. She said, it's okay. I can, I, I'm fine staying home and helping you with Jack. She said, I'm going to message my teacher and see if she'll take a video of releasing the butterfly. She said, so if she'll do that, then I'm, I'm not upset that I'm not going to school today. It's like they're down to the last, Adri has like 12 days of school left. Allie's down to seven. It's like they're almost done with school. But even the doctor's office said today, they said, yeah, the flu bug is going around, the stomach bug is going around here um, really bad. For most people, it lasts like one to two days. And there's no other symptoms, no fever, no nothing, just uh, vomiting. Like, And they said it's like violently vomiting for kids. Like kids are having it so much worse. My plan was, oh, I feel bad you can't see my food. Since it's Jackson was crazy and wanted to climb on Alley, and I literally every so many minutes, I'm not kidding, 16 times in four hours, less than four hours. When Jax first got up, I got him up and I changed his diaper. And as soon as I got done changing his diaper, I had to run over and help Allie. He, was like watching her in horror. Like he doesn't know. <clears throat> he's over got sick I think one time. So he's watching her and he starts crying. And he's just looking at her like terrified for her. And he's got tears pouring down his face. And he's kind of dropped his head down on the arm of the couch. Like he was devastated. But then. He went back to his normal wild self. So he's running around. Squealing. Jumping around. Banging his toys together. Trying to fix things like. Not being bad, just being a normal two-year-old playing with his toys. And I'm like, all right, this is just too much. I'm like, I can't. <laughs> so finally at like almost 10 o'clock, I, I told Adrian, I'm like, can you call Nana and see if maybe she can come get you and Jax? I'm like, Allie can't even rest. It's just, it's insane. I'm trying to hold the bucket for her. He's shoving toys in my face, want me to see toys. I'm like, Jax, I'm like, get away from the bucket, get away. Like, I'll look in a minute. Like, it was just, it was too much. So around 10.30, my mom's not a morning person. <clears throat> so there was no way I was gonna call her at um, 7.30 in the morning. You know, plus I didn't realize how bad Allie was. Like, I thought, because after she did it the first time, she's like, I feel better, Mom. So I thought she was better. So I had Adri get up. She got dressed. She ate her breakfast. Like, and then Allie did it again. And again, it's like, okay. So anyway, my mom came and got the kids, Adri and Jax, around 10.30. So then... Jay messaged me because I told him what was going on. He, I was like keeping him updated throughout the day. He said, you want me to come there after work? I can at least help you out or you can, you know, give it a break. I said, if you wouldn't mind, I said, I could run to Sam's and Meyer. I said, I have to pick up her prescription anyway because they cloned in Zofran for her. I said, I'm not going to load her up in the car to go to Meyer and get her Zofran. So I looked around and I had some in the cupboard from a previous time that she was sick. So I just gave her that. So I gave her that at like 11.35. Like instantly, her stomach had hurting and we haven't had any more incidents. So right before bed, I need to give her more. I'm gonna give Jackson a dose also, just to be on the safe side, so they can both get some sleep. So I'm like, yeah, I'm like, so on your way here, I'm like, do you just want to stop at my mom's and get the kids? I'm like, because my mom took them. So he's like, yeah, he's like, I'm going to stop at uh, home and change. I'm trying to cut this pickle. It's not cutting. He said, I'm going to stop at home and change. He said, and then I'll um, head up. <clears throat> so then I was like, okay. I'm like, he can come here. I can run to Sam's real quick. I can run to Maya real quick. I can go to the gym. And actually get a workout in and I can go get five guys and film it like in the parking lot because 
she's planning on being at my house by five. Like before five. But he got to, um, my mom's around five and the kids weren't ready. So he didn't get to my house till like 5.30. And then I was telling him the ropes of what to do in case of this, what to do in case of that. And my mom said Jackson was acting funny. Said he would only, he would eat if she would like give him a bite, but other than that, he wouldn't eat. He wouldn't eat at his spot at the table where he always eats. She said, but he was playing. So. <sighs> so after I eat this. Oh. I think I'm just going to stop in hand. I just lay in the bed and feel the heat and just relax. It's only for 12 minutes though. So. So I keep thinking that my stomach hurts. <laughs> it's like, no, it's all in your head. Your stomach doesn't hurt. So yeah, the beds are 12 minute beds, so I will only be in there for 12 minutes. And it's on my way home anyway. It's like the only good thing about living in the city. You're literally minutes from everything. Like if I move closer to Adri's school, and in that school district, I'd have to drive 20 minutes to even get like anything. Whopper of cheese, plain with no bun. I think we have this is only one carb. It's a good amount of protein, a good amount of fat. Okay, I'm gonna try and see. Whopper with cheese, plain, with no bun. It's 320 calories, 24 grams of fat, one gram of carbs, zero fiber, and 24 protein. So that will really raise up my fat and my, um, excuse me, my fat and my protein. Excuse me. <laughs> I said these were not keto. Oh. Allie has probably had the hiccups 10 times today, 10 separate times. I was telling my mom, like, it's so weird. I'm like, I couldn't tell you the last time she had hiccups. I said she's had them, like, seven times. And she's had them, like, three times since then. So that's strange. She's like, because Jackson has had hiccups a couple times here today. Weird. Okay. Let's see. Mm. Okay. Burger, king, side, salad, Got nutrition information. Calories in Burger King garden side salad without dressing. That's what I got for the added ranch. Um, it says four fat, three carbs, one fiber, four protein. How? How is there carbs in it? So my Whopper was not. <coughs> Zero or one, what was it? And then the side salad was seven. <coughs> 
And then the dressing was four. Oh, let's see. Burger King jalapeno bites. Jalapeno cheddar bites. Okay. Eight pieces, which I didn't have eight. I only had four. What? There's that much? All right, I'm gonna look on Burger King's site because. Okay, four piece. <clears throat> yeah, tell me the nutrition information. Okay, so for a four piece, which is what I had, 163 calories, 8.6 grams of fat, 17.3 carbs. Wow. Well, minus the 1.2 fiber that's still 16 grams of carbs and that's four grams of protein so i probably have i mean i'm gonna have a cookie tonight and still all that combined is still gonna be under 50 grams so hopefully it won't um if anything hopefully my weight will stay the same between today and tomorrow and not go up if i don't lose that's fine Those four little tiny bites has freaking 17.3 grams of carbs. That's insane. All right, I'm gonna stop rambling. <clears throat> All I ate that had gluten in it just now was just the bites, I think. I don't know. Right, I'm gonna screenshot this so I can try and enter it in. All right. It's 8.52. Hopefully the kids, I cut their pill in half. I told them which piece to give to which kid. So hopefully um, they're in jammies. And neither of them had a nap today either. So they got to be so tired. So hopefully um, they're in jammies. They'll probably be laying there waiting for me to get home anyway. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go tan. <coughs> Quick tanning session. Then we gotta head home, check on my babies, and hope they sleep through the night. Fingers crossed they sleep through the night. I'm glad Allie's didn't come on till 7.30 this morning. It was, I was in the bath, like I got up and went pee. Before I go wake Adri up, I do that every single day. When I was in the bathroom, I'm like, what is that noise? I heard it through the baby monitor because her door was shut. And it was her getting sick. It's like, so I'm running in there. <clears throat> um, yeah. But during the night, like, I'm not gonna sleep worth a crap because I'm gonna be listening for every little sound. <laughs> the mom thing. Well, I don't know, not all moms. Some moms are crap, but. Some moms are crap. Some moms are great. And I'm not saying if you don't hear a kid get sick in the middle of the night that you're a crap mom. That's not what I meant. All right. <clears throat> My sister gave me a couple packets, but these have tingle in them. They make your skin feel like it's crawling, and then you're like burning, and then you're like freezing cold. It's this Glamour Goddess 300 times sizzle intensifier. Eternal Goddess anti-aging skincare divine antioxidant formulation. I don't know, so I'm just gonna use that packet, I think. <clears throat> I got this, but I've used this once, the one that I bought from Amazon. It just has 50 times auto darkening tan technology, so it has like a, um, a slight bronzer in it. <clears throat> these don't have a bronzer in them I don't think but they like I said they have the tingle and the other one doesn't have the tingle but I get two uses out of one packet so I need to throw this packet away because I used it twice the worst part is laying down in a cold bed <coughs> I usually use self tanner but self tanner lasts a couple days where I seem to get like a little bit of color going on with tanning all right I will talk to you guys <coughs> later. Thanks for having dinner with me. Bye.